Hi, in this movie I will talk about the ultrasonic sensor. This is the same that I'm uh, now is in my hand. This is called HCSR04. The ultrasonic sensor is used to determine the distance from any object. So if we will move this ultrasonic will move toward an object, it will transmit a wave and then receive the wave in the other sensor and by the time that it is catching the, the back of the signal, the receiving of the signal, it will know the distance from the object. So how this is working? Actually, uh, it's pretty simple. We have here only four pins. The pins are G and D, VCC, Trigger and Echo. So we need to give this model 5 volt and to give the trigger. After we will give the trigger to this model, it will start sensing and it will give an output when it sends the receiving from the object. So we have like this trigger. This will be the trigger. And after some time, the echo will go to low. So the distance between the trigger and the echo back is the distance. Okay, so how I'm going to work with this one? Again, as I told you, I want to remember as less thing as possible. This is my motto. So I will search for the library of HCSR04. After I found it, I will click and I will download it. I've already done this. Okay, so if I'm opening uh, the files, let's see what I've got inside the directory. Usually there is an example. So I will take the example. We have a demo. I will open the demo. Okay, but I will open it, let's say, with Notepad, and then I will copy it. I will copy it to the program. Okay. Okay. So this is from the example file. So what do I see here? I see a very simple program with. Uh, the library ultrasonic.h with a trigger pin and echo pin. Let's compile this one. We'll give it the name ultrasonic. Example. Okay, and of course it will not compile will not compile since uh, the Arduino software doesn't recognize the library okay so it is not working so what we will need to do is to take the file from here which we have downloaded copy it and put it under C user, name of the computer, documents, Arduino, and libraries. Here we will paste this directory which include the library and anything we need. If we will compile it now, it will work. Because now the Arduino knows to take the data from this library. So let's see what we have here. We have here 
first of all we are using the serial port okay so actually they are using the serial port on pin uh, 12 and 13 and there are function here and by the function we can see that we get the data back in millisecond centimeter and inches I would like to work in centimeter but first let's see that it is working so I will put serial monitor and nothing is happening let's see why okay this is the uno the correct com port we will upload maybe we didn't upload the program into the board now it is done uploading we will open the serial monitor okay and here we can see the data out so i will take this sensor and i can see the distance if i will put my hand so the distance is lower distance and when i move in up away from the sensor the distance is changing up so it looks like this is working okay now i would like to add something to this program okay so let's uh, add to this program i have here rgb leds which i bought long ago from ebay this led have four pins one of the pins is G and D and the other are red, green and blue. So I will connect this LED to my board and I will write a program that will do the following. Let's say if the distance is lower than 10 cm, we will have a red light. If the distance is between 10 cm to 20 cm, it will have a green light. And if the distance from the object is above 30 centimeters it will have a, a blue light so I will take this program and change it according my needs okay so let's define our LEDs okay this is the best way uh, to work with known, uh, known words so it will be easier instead of just number of the pins so we'll define red which will be pin 7 define also green and blue so the green will be 6 and the blue will be 5 now I have to de define this one as a output okay so the output is by using the pin mode command so it will be pin mode and for the red output same for the green and the blue so let's just copy it and then change the name of the red for green and blue because they are all output to the LED now I want to uh, instead of doing this loop every one second we'll do it every 100 milliseconds so it will react much faster now I want to take the centimeter out and see where I am so we'll do it like this if uh, centimeter millisecond is lower than 10 centimeter so uh, now we need we said to um, to light the red blue okay so we will light the red with a digital right and red will be high and we need to 
deactivate the other LED if they're already running. So we will turn off the other LEDs, which are the green and the blue. Okay, so we have all done for the 10 centimeter. So now, if it is we said between which is bigger than 10 centimeter, but but we use end lower than 20. So let's write lower than 20. And remind this is centimeter have to add brackets because otherwise it will give an error and then now we would like to light we set the green so the other we will turn off and last thing we want to do the same let's take this one if we said the distance is above 30 centimeters. Yes, this is what we said. So if it is bigger than 30 centimeters, so the blue will light and the other will be off. Okay, let's hope that we didn't make any mistake. It is compiling and now is the real test okay so we can see that it is now above uh, above 30 so it is blue i hope you can see the red and okay it is red and if we are between 10 and 20 it is green and above we are blue okay so this seems to work all right Okay, you can see if I move it toward my hands so we can see the distance. Let me try to do a little zoom. Maybe you can see it better. Okay, this is my object. And when I move it, we have the green. And if it is far away, which uh, my table is not enough. So we move it like this. Okay, we have green, red, and when we are far away, it is blue. So this is working well. Thank you very much, and bye bye.